Hello! In this video I'm going to really quickly show you how to make a scrolling texture and let's get going! So first of all I've just loaded up the standard universal render pipeline scene and deleted all the assets except for this beautiful floor with as you can see a texture on it and this texture tiles and the fact it tiles is really important so that when we're scrolling the texture it doesn't look real bad. Okay next we're going to just add a script to this, which is going to be called scroll texture, which I've actually already prepared and open that up. Next, we're just going to make two public floats, which is going to be scroll speed X and then also scroll speed Y. And then finally, a reference to the mesh render of the object. Um, scroll speed X and scroll speed Y are going to control the speed at which the texture scrolls. And the mesh render is just a reference to the mesh renderer of the object so that we can actually access the texture. Then we're just going to get the component of the mesh render of the mesh renderer on start. And then all we need to do is in the update function, go to mesh renderer dot material dot main texture offset where the offset is the offset of the main texture as it says there and basically by changing the value of that it allows us to scroll the texture okay so if we set that to now if we reset this to new a new vector 2 which is going to be equal to the time dot real time since startup and this is the x value so we're going to do scroll speed x and then we're also just going to do time dot real time to start again. And this time get a reference to scroll speed y. And that's pretty much it. And now that's all written up. If we go back to our scene, click on the object, click on the ground again. We set our scroll speed to one to both of them and we click play. You'll see it's scrolling diagonally. If we go in here, change this to a lower number, it's not scrolling as much diagonally. If we set it to minus number, it goes the opposite way. And if we set them both to zero, nothing happens. Now, this could also be done through the universal render pipeline. However, the advantage of doing it this way is you don't need to mess around with that and it's super quick. And as you can see, you've already got a scrolling texture set up, which looks honestly, I think pretty nice. Okay. Bit, bit different to my usual videos because this is this is it. There's nothing more to add here. You're pretty much done. As you can see, the reason why it's important to have a tiling texture is so that if I duplicate it and drag this over to the side of it, then we also then if we also duplicate this and drag them up as well, then we could play there. That's still tile. Totally fine. And it. I mean, apart from some lighting issues, but that's unrelated, you can see that the objects fit together pretty well. Okay, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like. I hope it helped. And I, I guess a comment about how cool scrolling textures are. That would be real cool. Okay, see ya.